Temple Fencing is ranked eighth in the nation, but do you know the girls behind the mask? I actually took a fencing camp in sixth grade, and the next year, seventh grade, there was a high school team tryout, so I, I went for it. It turned out it was like the same coaches that coached the camp, and kind of just got into it from there. They actually owned a club, and I just started naturally fencing. All my family have been fencers, so it pretty much, I just, I, I was grown up being a fencer. Um, I went to tournaments since I was two years old. I saw my mom like being a champion all the time, my uncles, my brother. It was just like really crazy, so that's how I got into fencing. We send people to championships, which is a huge deal. It's as big as the World Cups in the national circuit. We were really great. Coach Frank was great. No one could ever say anything bad about her. Um, I did fall in love with the team. I mean, it's in Philly. Like, there's always something to do. The coach was like the biggest reason I came to Temple because she was really into. She was. She's really passionate about fencing. So I'm really passionate about fencing too, and I feel that connection with her. Oh, uh, the crate truck. For sure. What's your favorite one? Um, the Southwestern. Ooh, that's it has my ranch and barbecue. Too. Yeah. <laughs> I love Alter Hall and the seventh floor. That's like my spot. I'm I'm there all the time. I think it's really pretty because you can see the whole city. Well, I'm actually addicted to shopping online. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like one of my biggest things. And I also love to take pictures. I, I had a class last semester um, in Center City. So I came one night and I saw um, City Hall and I was like, that's so pretty. And I just took a picture and it looked really cool, actually. Well, I'm possibly the laziest person ever. So Netflix or just lying down and doing nothing. A secret challenge. The internet, according to it, you can't lift your elbow and I can. Oh, can you yeah. do it for me? Yeah. <laughs> I can. <laughs> like, Ooh, good job. <laughs>I mean, we are top eight in the nation. I would love them to know that. But I also would love them that we're not here just to win. We're here to push each other. And we're like sisters. I feel like we're like sisters. And I don't know if I'm feeling bad one day, they'll help me to go through my day. And it's just really awesome being with them. Definitely how hard we work. I think everyone underestimates us. And we're just another team. But we really do work very hard to get where we're at. And we are top eight. So we, we deserve that spot. Next up for Temple Fencing is the NCAA Championships March 20th and 21st, where the team is hoping to pull out yet another top 10 victory. Reporting for AllSports.com, I'm Liana Daywall.